Nigerians judiciary improve in Tinubu's first year. <laughs> Nigerians. So now so life be. People no longer speak the truth because of their selfish interest. Really? All this talk here and there, all these things that is going on in Nigeria today, someone is saying Nigerians judiciary improved in Tinubu's first year. Anyway, make we even hit the news. Make we hear and see how the judiciary don't improve where we're in President Bola Maitinubu's first year. Before we hit the news, guys, I beg if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Lagos based lawyer Kainde Nubi says, Nigerians judiciary improved in President Bola Tinubu's first year as president. In an interview in Lagos on Monday, Mr. Nubi said the appointment of 11 justices to the Supreme Court was a remarkable development in the judiciary under Tinubu, increasing the number from a record low of 10 to the constitutionally prescribed maximum of 21 is a welcome development. This move will undoubtedly have a positive impact on the justice delivery system by reducing the burden on justice. According to him, Mr. Tinubu's in inclination towards increasing the salaries of judiciary officials, thereby improving their welfare, is another step in the right direction. Improved funding of the judiciary and his government approval for a significant improvement in the in the judiciary of the judiciary of the judges will have a positive impact on the judiciary system, he said. Nigerians, the lawyer, I added that it was reassuring to note that the president seems to disposed to non-interference in judiciary affairs, really. Is he saying the truth? Because I know they stand, uh, because majority of Nigerians are, you know, are still really questioning this, what this lawyer is saying right now. The lawyer added that it was reassuring to know that the president seems deposed to non-interference -inter in judiciary affairs. However, there are pressing issues that require attention. The military, particularly the army, appears to be operating with impunity, disregarding court orders, and acting as a law unto itself. It is crucial that this administration assents its authority and ensures the military respects the rule of law, the lawyer said. Another Lagos base a lawyer, Alezi, said under Mr. Tinubu's administration, there has been a series glamour for reforms to better position the judiciary to perform its constitutional functions. It may be too early to hold a strong opinion as to how the judiciary has felt under the present administration, but one has observed this growing glamour for the desired reforms. The judiciary can be said to have started well under this administration, said Mr. Alize Nwaze, okay, Mr. Nwoke of Alize, okay, and the Nwoke and Co. legal practitioners. According to him, Mr. Tinubu has repeatedly called for reform of the justice system to address systematic challenges and better position its for justice delivery. In line with the president's call for effective reforms, the government has, in, has listed some provisional measures it has taken to improve the judiciary. These measures include the much required full complement of the 21 justices of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, improved funding of the judiciary, and the government approval of a significant improvement in the 
emolument of, judge, of judges. Although these measures may still be undergoing legislative processes, it is believed that the support of the present administration will, in a short while, lead to the emergence of a reformed and more effective justice system that will guarantee human rights and even political rights of Nigerians, in addition to supporting economic growth. Having attracted the approval and support of the presidency and the cooperation of the legislature, the judiciary is on its own to building an effective justice system, he said. Someone said here, yeah, you know, they see useless people. Always be the first to praise him. It is after joining forces with INEC, security agencies to defraud Nigerians during the last presidential election, selection called election. It's a shame that our judges are saying this, our lawyers are saying this, this for you to understand that Nigeria is gone. So guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section.